Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. Today in this video, we will talk about a free 2D CAD software that you can utilize not only for personal use but even for professional use without worrying about a license. You can create 2D layouts, drawings and many more. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click here on Windows and then I'm gonna type EDGE and then here I will type LibreCAD. Yes, you heard it right. Just like LibreOffice, we also have LibreCAD software available. So let me quickly click here and then we're going to open LibreCAD. And this is free open source 2D CAD software. And guess what? That allow us to create 2D parametric drawing similar to what we can do with AutoCAD. And you can also save your 2D drawing in AutoCAD format. Isn't it cool guys? Now before we further dive in, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, consider subscribing to this channel as we keep on bringing up video related to engineering topics. So if you have similar interests, then please consider subscribing to this channel for more such videos. Now let's jump back to our topic, which is LibreCAD. So here I'm going to click on this link, which is LibreCAD.org. And not to worry guys, I'm going to provide the same link in the description of this video. If you do not want to get lost here. So now what are we going to do is we're going to download this software. And as I said, this is open source. So it is completely free and can be used not only for personal project, but you can also utilize this for commercial use. However, in case of commercial use, maybe you will earn a lot and then you can upgrade to DraftSite, IronCAD or AutoCAD. Now let's go down and see what are the versions in which this software is available. So what are the platform that this software support? So here we can see this software support almost all major desktop operating system such as Machintosh, Windows and Linux. Since here I'm using Windows, so let me actually download it from SourceForge instead of GitHub. So you just need to click here on this download latest version and then we need to wait for a while and then this download will begin. Meanwhile, the software is getting downloaded. I would request you to donate some amount to the author so that they feel motivated and could keep on working to improve it especially if you are using this for commercial purpose. So it's up to you actually, even if we do not donate, it's totally fine. All right. So here we can see we have successfully downloaded the setup and it is not that huge. It is just under 25 megabyte, which means that you can even email it to somebody as it is within email attachment limit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a try by making double click on it now the typical installation wizard have started and I also would like to keep it in the default location and now I will click on install and there we go we have successfully installed it and it again have opened this donate page and as we discussed before it's not necessary but welcome if somebody you know support this author now let me quickly again click on LibreCAD setup and close it and now let's start this LibreCAD for the first time so let me press here menu button and I can see it in recently added. You can also write LibreCAD and in this way you can open it. Now here it's really nice to see the splash screen or open screen actually asking us initially that what is our default unit. So generally I prefer millimeter. Let's say you are working in civil domain, maybe they will prefer centimeter or inches or any other unit. Similarly, the unit of preference sometimes depend on the country you live in. For example, if somebody is from US, maybe they will choose inch as their default unit. But for me, millimeter is a good one. Now here one can select their favorite language and here we can see we have got so many different languages available. That is really nice guys. So here I'm going to keep everything as it is as default and let me click on OK. And there we go. We have opened this software for the first time and I believe it have got almost all basic tools covered. For sure not the all tools that is available in AutoCAD. So just like AutoCAD, it have got all these basic sketching tools 
and here we go here we have got this command line also available which you can i guess place it the way you want so let's place it in the bottom that you can simply do by dragging it um, using left mouse button i just place this command bar down so here i can write the command for example line just like in autocad and now again it is asking me same question which i feel pretty familiar as it is very similar to autocad so i need to provide my first point so this time let me give it a cartesian coordinate of 0x and 0y now let me hit enter and now it is asking me to specify next point so let me actually specify next point for example um 10 and then 10 so this is 10 10 and this time let me give it another point in polar coordinate system so uh let's move it 20 toward x and then at an angle of 30 degree there we go so this time let me provide it a polar coordinate let's say 20 and then angle so let's give it an angle of um, 60 degree and there we go now this time let me provide it a polar coordinate system so let me actually provide it as 25 in x and then 30 degree anti-clockwise there we go so in this way guys we can create any 2d entity inside it here we have got these different different type of snaps available and somebody want to let's say dimension it so dimensioning tools also available so in this way guys we can use this software and let's say you want to know more about the commands then you can click on help and then go online and then you can click on commands there we go here we can see each and every command that is available inside this software so this was a quick overview of this LibreCAD free open source software again i'm repeating the same line that you can not only use for your personal project but you can also use it commercially and then you can also save this in a format of dxf which can also be opened by autocad i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such content and i will catch you soon in another video till then you take care and bye bye